Hello students, welcome to the lecture on travel agencies and tour operators and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Describe the roles and function of travel agencies, explain the tour operator operation, discuss the types of travel operations, define the types of tours, explain the importance of tourist guides. Let's start with the concept of travel agencies and tour operators. Travel agencies represent an industry marketplace where prospective travelers have the ability to shop for air, car and hotel products for leisure or business purposes. Travel agencies are one-stop shopping malls that have access to and can evaluate multiple supplier as a potential solution for their clients. Travel agencies are the primary and lowest cost channel of distribution for the airlines representing upwards of 80% of the total sales. Travel agency also account for approximately one-third of all hotel room sales and car rentals in the U.S. The four principal global distribution system, GDS, operating in the U.S., Galileo, Sabre, Worldspan, and Amadeus, provide the electronic infrastructure through which most of these transactions are processed. Traditional travel agencies provide storefront access, Telephonic access and electronic access are a combination of these as a means of interfacing with their clients. Online agencies such as provide only an electronic access similar to self-booking tools such as Highwire and Get There, the latter of which provide the traditional agencies with electronic access capability. Sometimes there is confusion over the difference in functions of tour operations and travel agents. Tour operators are the organizers and providers of package holidays. They make contracts with hotelers, airlines and ground transport companies then print brochures advertising the holidays that they have assembled. Let us now discuss roles and function of travel agencies. Tourism in its present form which makes millions of people move from their homes in search of a holiday, began to by a mere coincidence. It was 1841. Thomas Cook, a very intelligent and active member of a temperance society of England, organized a trip by a train for 570 members of his society to a distance of 22 miles. He was the first agent to buy tickets in bulk to sell them back to other people. The experiment was succeeded and everybody was happy. The cost of the return trip was only one shilling each. Mr. Cook had done this job on a no loss profit basis, but it gave him new ideas. Could he turn it into a business? He wondered. Now, travelers checks what billions of dollars are bought and sold every day all over the world. Travelers checks are a unique phenomenon, only a nominal charge is made for the service but the banks can use the money collected by them and earn interest or make short-term investment after all travelers checks are not used immediately travelers checks are also insured against loss the traveler therefore does not have to worry about the safekeeping of his money functions of traveled agencies the internet may have modernized many industries and business including tours and travels Nowadays, I can already book and arrange for own travel necessities using readily available sites and resources from the internet. However, there are still a lot of benefits that travelers can get from travel agencies. By knowing how they function will help them have an idea just how they can make tour a lot more convenient and hassle-free. They work in a network of different companies whereby they work on set-up accounts with the different companies like cruise ships, destination and rental vehicle companies. Whenever a customer hires an agent to arrange a tour or vacation for him, the agency or agent would not require extra charge to the customer. Instead, the agency will receive commissions from the companies to which the vacation necessities were booked. The travel agents role in travel and tourism industry. Travel agents plan, organize and conduct long-distance cruises, tour and expeditions for individuals or groups. The responsibility of the travel agent is to assist travelers with the constantly changing airfares and schedules, thousands of available vacation packages and a vast amount of travel information on the internet. To sort out the many travel options, tourists and business people often turn to travel agents who assess the needs and help them make the best possible travel 
arrangements. Also, many major cruise ships, resorts and specialty travel groups use travel agents to promote travel packages to millions of people every year. How a travel agency works? Well, the traditional method is pretty simple. A travel agent is licensed to sell travel for various uh, places, such as cruise lines, hotels, airlines, etc. Now, when they do this, what they do is they book through a common travel agent. Now, oftentimes what happens is two things. Number one, they don't charge you anything, but they get a commission from the person they're booking with. That would be the airline or the hotel, or that would be uh, the venue in which you're going to. Another popular method in which travel agents work is they not only get their commission, but they also charge you a booking fee. In some cases, they charge you a ticketing fee. But I will tell you this, the days of travel agents in the brick and mortar sense are over. There's really not a lot on the street corners in America these days. Much of it is done online. Travelocity and some of the big boys in the game, they had the cheapest prices because they are big enough to offer you the best discounts and the best guarantees. Some of the more smaller units and the more localized travel agents are likely to cost you a lot of money. My recommendation, book directly with the airline, hotel, or the venue wanna, you want to go to. That way you could avoid any extra payments and you're likely to get the best. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study the tour operator's operation. A package can be defined as a pre-arranged combination sold or offered for sale at an inclusive price of not less than two of the following their elements. Transport, accommodation, other tourist services, not ancillary to transport or accommodation and accounting for a significant part of the package. The growth of the package has been a major cause of the increase in the holiday market since the 1950s. The role of the package company goes beyond that of the wholesaler in that they not only purchases or reserve the separate components in bulk, but in combining these components in bulk, but an inclusive tour. They also become producer in the holiday market. The traditional appeal of the tour operator's product has been to offer a complete holiday package at the lowest price to a population often lacking the linguistic knowledge or the knowledge and confidence to organize independent travel. Best will give you 10 criteria for selecting the best tour operator. A tour operator? What is that that I just said? You've never heard that word before? Well, a tour operator is in charge of making your flight and hotel reservations, making sure that you have a car to get to and from the airport, and will manage all your excursions and activities and whatever you want to do on your trip in the form of an itinerary or program. First step, transparency matters. If you were sitting there with your tour operator and you were asking him questions and he is not giving an honest answer to you or an exact answer and is either giving half of the information, beating around the bush, or is lying to you, then you will feel upset, really, really upset that the tour operator is not doing their job. That is why we at Above Zest tell you find a reliable tour operator. The second thing is that you need to know the difference between a travel agent and a tour operator. A travel agent only does the booking of a flight and reserving your hotel room. Thanks to Priceline.com and CheapTicket.com, you can go and do that on your own. Now a tour operator will handle everything for your trip. Every excursion, every activity, every reservation, they will do it. The third thing is clear cancellation terms. Worst case scenario, let's say you can't go on your trip. You never know, it might happen. There are three types of ticket cancellations that you should know about. Ticket transfer, where you can transfer your ticket to someone else. Ticket replacement, where you can replace your ticket with another ticket. And trip cancellation, where you can cancel your trip altogether. Want more information? Read our Above Zest blog 
trip cancellations above zest will make it easy for you for details. The fourth thing that you want to know about is group booking discounts. Are you going to travel with your family or a bunch of friends? You should expect some discounts from your tour operators. Airlines and hotels always have special discounts to more than one person, to an entire group. So why can't a special discount be given from your tour operator? Consumer capacity. Occupancy for accommodation. In travel and tourism, capacity refers to the number of people that can be accommodated in a hotel, aircraft, bun, resort, etc. It may be, for example, that a hotel has a capacity of 300 and an aircraft might be able to accommodate 130. The important figure, and however, is how much of the capacity is actually used at any time. This is the occupancy rate for accommodation or the load factor for transportation. If a hotel, for example, is only full on a quarter of the nights in a year, then it is paying the fixed cost on the empty rooms without any income from them. This is particularly important when considering seasonality and also explain why hotel prices fall in the low season to maintain as high an occupancy rate as possible to help to cover the hotel's total cost. The problems of perishability can be made even more acute by fluctuating demand but fixed supply. Demand can vary during the day, during the week or from season to season of the year. Many resort hotels instead are full for only a few months of the year. Capacity may therefore be insufficient to meet demand at peak times but in excess of what is required at slack times. The management challenges therefore is to make sure that the company is operating at full capacity for as much of the time as possible. Be successful. The company will need carefully designed strategies to stimulate demand, lengthen seasons, or to offer appropriate pricing levels to manage and smooth out occupancy levels. Now, we will review the different types of travel operations that are the main players in the travel trade. Travel agencies. Travel agencies are perhaps the most visible companies in the travel trade. Their primary businesses is to resell accommodation, transportation, services, including airplanes and train tickets, car and bus transfer, individual services, including guide and translator services, and package services such as sightseeing tours. Within each agency, there is often a focus on either inbound or outbound trade, with the outbound agencies focusing either on ticketing services and accommodation bookings or in package holidays. Travel agencies generally serve a mix of long and short haul markets. Although some specialize in long haul markets, the majority of travel agencies seek to appeal to a large domestic market, so they focus mainly on products and services with a mass market appeal. Beach and ski holidays, cruises, and package tours to well known and popular destinations. A small number may have a focus on specialty travel and will offer products and services that cater to special markets. Examples would be agencies that specialize in custom travel arrangement, outdoor sports or adventure holidays. Most travel agencies that focus on outbound travel resell the products of both outbound and inbound operators, but they can also find products to retail from other travel resellers or from travel portals. Most travel agencies offer ticketing services for international travel and can assist their customers with obtaining information on travel requirements such as visas and vaccinations as well as obtaining travel insurance. Outbound tour operators Outbound tour operators create and market travel products to customers in their own market that are usually long-haul travelers seeking a specific experience in a foreign destination. They may design and operate their own trips, working with partners in the destination, or they may choose trips already designed by inbound operators and simply market these to their own clients. Outbound operators generally have an in-depth knowledge of what their customers are looking for and what their travel requirements are and are thus able to design travel products that meet those needs. In the past, most outbound operators focus on group travel arrangement, but increasingly, they are offering package travel for independent travelers. Inbound tour operators. Inbound tour operator creates and market travel products and services to customer mainly long-haul markets. 
Customers in countries far away generally do not have in-depth knowledge of a destination or the service providers in that destination may not speak the language and may not feel comfortable making their own arrangement. Inbound tour operators serve these customers by taking the guesswork out of planning a holiday and may offer experiences that would otherwise be inaccessible to independent travelers making their own arrangement. For example, planning and organizing own expedition to go tracking in Western Croatia would involve months of research to identify routes, find local guides, arrange transport and packed animals and considerable expense to transport equipment and gear or purchase it locally. A local company can organize all this for at much less cost and in less time than it would take for to do it ourselves. Ground operators. Ground operators are providers of travel products and services in their own countries or region. Sometimes inbound tour operators also are referred to as ground operators. But the term is usually applied to companies that do not actively market their services directly to overseas customers. These operations focus on providing travel services on the ground, including activities like horseback riding, boat trips or guided diving tours, cooking or wine tours, etc. that form part of a larger experience or package tour. Ground operators may sell their services directly to independent travelers that have already reached a foreign destination. This is common in more well-known travel destinations. Local service providers. This term is used frequently to refer to ground operators, but more commonly it is applied to operations that provide local services such as accommodation, hotels, guest houses, families, offering homestays, meals, local guides, equipment, rental, cultural performance and other specific services. Local services providers may include museums, parks, ferry lines or domestic airlines. Often there is little distinction made between ground operators and local service providers and the two terms may be used interchangeably. Travel resellers and portal. Travel resellers and travel portals offer consumer the convenience of being able to review and compare many travel options in one catalog or on one website and make it easy to find travel packages to book them and to pay for them. Travelers may purchase products directly from resellers and portals, but travel agents and travel agencies also look for products to sell from these sources and most resellers and portals have a commission arrangement for agents. Resellers and portals commonly have well-defined target markets and the theme of the trips they sell will reflect this. They may focus on budget or low-cost travel or focus on other specialty travel interests such as eco-tours, adventure tours, the gap year market, young adults taking time off to travel between finishing high school or college and starting a career, women travelers or travelers over. Escorted or guided tours. On an escorted tour, the tour operator plans the itinerary and provides a guide who takes to each sightseeing destination and tells something. The tour price usually includes most expenses but may be asked to pay for certain items such as souvenirs, alcoholic beverage, side trips such as a round of golf and meals eaten during free time, self-guided or independent tours. An independent tour offers the convenience of pre-planned travel and the freedom to experience a new place week. Tour prices usually include transportation and lodging. Additional expenses such as meals and admission fees may or may not be included in the tour price. Be sure understood which costs are included tour. Adventure tours. If you are looking for an active vacation, an adventure tour might be right for you. Adventure tours usually include hiking, kayaking, snowshoeing or other strenuous activities. Most adventure tour prizes include lodging and meals but may pay extra for some excursions. Tour price may or may not include transportation. Be sure to read watchers fine print. Working tours. Destination in great detail try a working tour. It can find escorted and self-guided working tours on every continent. In tour will probably involve a morning walk with sightseeing stops, lunch, a longer afternoon walk and dinner. Some tour operators suggest begin to get in shape at least three months before tour. Bus or motor coach tours. If walking long distances is not stuck, consider a bus tour. Manhattan at rush hour or find a parking lot in Paris get to destination in relative comfort. Some bus tours are day trips, 
others last up to three weeks. Expect to change seats every day on a longer tour. Many bus tour operators reseat travelers each day to encourage socializing. Some bus tours are strenuous due to either to the amount of walking at each sightseeing stop or the amount of time spent sitting in a moving bus. Train tours. For a glimpse of a bygone era, take a train tour. The train and stop at various train stations for short sightseeing excursion. Some train tours follow historic routes such as the Venice Simplon Orient Express. Others take where no roads exist. Trains are very narrow in sight, which makes them inaccessible to many disabled travelers. Amtrak American trains, however, complied with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Amtrak trains offer private compartments with shows as an accommodation alternative, but trains in other countries may lack shore facilities. By cycling or hiking or horseback riding tours, enjoy the pleasure of a day spent in the open air and the convenience of a tour. It can meet the whole group for dinner and have to carry a heavy backpack all day long. Of course, have to plan for changing weather conditions. As with a walking tour, they should get in shape for tour at least three months before departure date. Tour wholesaler can be divided into three kinds. The independent tour wholesaler combines both transportation and ground services into tours or packages and sells them through travel agencies to individual or group travelers. The airline working in close cooperation with tour wholesaler some airlines have wholesaling divisions that put together tours, for example, British Airlines. The retail travel agent who packages tours for its client. Some retail travel agents prepare individual or group store which they market themselves. For example, Design NZ on travel. A tour guide, as the very name indicates, is a person who guides a tourist and offers them all relevant information about the place they are visiting. A tour must be capable of interpreting the culture and natural heritage of an area and possess a specific qualification usually issued or recognized by the appropriate authority. Tour guides must be thoroughly knowledgeable about the cities, regions and countries where they work. It is the responsibility of the tour guide to help travelers understand the culture of the region and the way of life of its inhabitants. They have to promote the culture and natural heritage and at the same time impress on the visitor the significance of the place they are visiting. A tour guide is a person who leads groups of tourists around the town and takes them around to various tourist spots of importance and provides a commentary on the history and special features of the location. The tours can last from as little as 10 to 15 minutes to extend periods of many days. Considerable importance is placed on the tour guide's knowledge of local stories, history and culture as he is expected to furnish the right information to tourists and not disappoint them. In southern European countries, being a tour guide is considered to be prestigious. Most of these countries, however, have strict national laws concerning the tour guide profession. Fully officially certified tour guides educated along national guidelines and may commercially guide tourists. Most of us want to travel to exotic places and famous tourist spots and have dream vacation, but lack the opportunity and the affordability. But being a tour guide holds a prestigious job that will take to exciting places and pay to go there. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Tourism in its present form, which makes millions of people move from their homes in search of a holiday, began by a mere coincidence. In 1845, Thomas Cook set up a full-time excursion agency to organize excursion. Railway company gave him a 5% commission on sale of tickets that was not adequate to meet all his overhead. So he decided to diversify. They work in a network of different companies whereby they work and set up accounts to different companies like cruise ships, destinations and rental vehicle companies. Management challenges, therefore, is to make sure that the company is operating at full capacity for as much of the time as possible. All local travel reimbursement take place through demand checks, but it will have to provide supportive documentation as proof of travel.